Ah, welcome back to the blind zone. Yes, Marakugook. We're being, uh... Yay, there we go. <laughs> I hope that, like, would this count as a Goron in a hot spring? It can't, right? I mean, yes. Would this count? I figured relaxing in hot springs, like lounging. Oh, god damn it. This is the D-pad. Yep. Uh, Ugh. And that's Rick. That's Peter. And this is The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of Rick. Tears, tears of Rick, because he discounted this Goron because he looked too happy <laughs> he and looked not like relaxed enough. He looked like he was enough. just working. It didn't, I didn't think that would count. I'm working. Ugh. Working on a hot spring. Ugh. We can do this. We can drop off both of our pictures, and then all of the stables will be done. I don't think there's any, like, and full that, reward. That's a but... full frog suit, right? Or Oh, no. We already got that. Oh, okay. We haven't powered it up all the way, but we okay. do have the full frog suit. This is oh. actually usually where we go to power stuff up. So it's going to be a frog suit-themed guider. Oh, yeah. Glide cloth. A frog glider. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's got to be it. That's what it's. That's what oh, it hey, is. Oh, hey, you're a CC person. Miss Goes Treasure. Looks like you overheard me. Yup. Hidden caves throughout the land. Caves of Elden are practically bursting with treasure. I'm bursting with lava. Okay. Ah, okay. I don't think there's any new real information there. Oh, uh, look at this empty frame. Oh my god, you still have your eye on that? You haven't been here in months, but you still like it? Hang on, I gotta get over there. Anyway, you still like it? Oh, I don't like his face. No, that's he, really that's really threatening of a, of a gaze. He like definitely a, has got like a villainous slant to his uh, it's demeanor. Like, it's like a Kubrick stare. He's just kind of like leaning down into it a little bit. And you're like, ah. Yeah. You're like trying to make your brow ridge more pronounced. Yeah. Oh, don't like it. <laughs> Such a weird. It's exactly the picture I asked for. What a weird picture to have in a in a horse stable. You know, just some people in a hot spring. Just standing around. I was just gonna paint some randos. Oh God, no! Ew. That first wet sound is always like really disconcerting, oh. Ugh, especially with this guy's face. <laughs> it's a feast for the eyes. What? I. A big part of what is unsettling about his face is his like mustache with the middle third <laughs> yeah, missing. Yes. Uh, the unHitler. Yeah. <laughs> The the huntler, un un untler, the untler, the untler. But it's just like, oh god, like two small caterpillars resting <laughs> on either you know hanging out of each nostril. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sell some stuff to Beetle real quick. Oh my god, hey Beetle, <laughs> look what I got. Uh, I wanna get a couple quick. You know what? Opal is actually one I'm willing to part with a bunch of these for. There you go. Let's do 15 of them. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, we have 149. Yes. They sell for 30 each. I misread that as we have 30 and they sell for 149 each. No. I'm also willing to, sit, to part with a shitload of these anyway, so let's do 79. Sure. Remaining 70. Yep, which is so many more than we will ever need. Sure. So... There we go. I just wanted to have some, some spending cash. cash for upgrades. Yeah, I figure we're here. I, it didn't even occur to me that we we're right next to it, but because we're here, we may as well. Yeah. Uh, just drop it. See what you have stuff yeah. for. Yeah, I may not need anything, but then I've just got spending cash, so that's always good to have. And we'll head to the other stable. We'll drop that off. We'll head to the Typhlo ruins, and then I think we're into the lookout landing at that point. I don't think there's anything else to really uh, slow us down from there. Yeah. No, I'm sure we could find things. Oh, I'm sure we could find things. And I'm sure that if uh, if there's any, like, solo episodes coming up, then there'll be a bunch of uh, uh, depths diving. But Rick, Rick likes to hide underground when he's on his own. I do. I'm scared. Very scared of the outside world. Which is funny, because it's more dangerous underground. <laughs> it's, but it's too dark to see, so it's less scary. It's not as scary. It's not as scary, because I can't see it. This is the military training camp? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be for the Hyrule military, but it's been abandoned for a long time and monsters kind of moved in. Yeah, that's funny. All right, so, uh, yep, this one seems good. Choo -choo, yellow Chuchudillion Volt Fruit. And let's just make sure that those aren't needed for other things. And the answer appears to be no for the things that I care about. All right. So let's get that up to its second star. Mm -hmm. I don't even have the third piece for that, but when I do, 
I think I think if you have all three pieces, you are electrically immune to yeah. electricity damage. Something like that. Yeah. Does that mean that you can wield metal weapons in the rain? Probably. Yeah. I think it makes you shock proof, which means that yeah, you can be literally struck by lightning and it doesn't matter. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's That'd be great because nice. then you could bait lightning. Yes. Which is an area of effect. Uh huh. Just like murder monsters by being near them. Uh, yeah, just be near them and just like. Oh, I'm sorry, get I, struck I just, just the wanted to over. just backdoor my way to the lightning bolt spell. Oh, this Kapush. is interesting. Soldier construct horn. These take these take zonai construct parts. Yeah. Ooh. Also, these are interesting too. That's potentially expensive, but means a good reason to go farm some constructs. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's different parts for different levels too. Because, like, low level, the problem is the basic construct horns are ones I don't really see anymore. Right. I need three pieces of. Z I need five zonite and I don't have it. Whoops. That's hilarious. Uh, we can do hightail lizards for those. I don't have anything else that I really care about doing this for. I could use the rest of my star fragments to make this better, but I. Why? <laughs> like. Uh, I am curious. I guess I'll do snow boots. We're probably not going to be in the sand anymore. Right. And if we are, it's going to be during streams and things, so mm. let's do it. Hightail mm. Lizard. And ten All bucks. Right. It is nice to have just a little more defense for it. Oh. Right, because you have to sacrifice an item spot for... Oh, I can actually get that done also. I won't be able to get them both to two stars, but Swift Carrot and Octorok oh. Tentacles. Okay. No, unless they diverge a little bit in terms of what they need. That's true. They might. As you get farther up. Would, that would be kind of nice mm -hmm. if so. Although it is the same effect. Ooh, a bunch of rush rooms. And none of those mm -hmm. items seem to be very... Um, mm -hmm. Elemental? Yeah. yeah. They seem to be more about the, like, stickativity. Yeah, yeah. The suction. Friction. The fricative forces. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that uses a Gibdo bone instead. So we actually do have... Oh, and he uses a swift carrot instead of the other one... What did the other one use? Was I thought it, it was also a swift carrot, but maybe not. No, because you had eight of the carrot you needed. Yeah. Might have been and an Endura carrot five or something. Them. Yeah, I think it was. All right. Oh, I can keep going. There's a special bonus. Is there a full set of sand gear? I don't think there is. I think the boots are on their own. I think that might be just a generic thing she says okay. when you have... Mm. Uh, oh, that's interesting. This one only takes... 10 rush room. This one takes 20 rush room, but it doesn't require Molduga fins, which are harder to come by. Right. Very interesting. Mm. Mm. These are so weird, like how they work sometimes. Because they, So I guess they did diverge. I wonder if I can get it to four stars. It actually will make for a pretty good defensive mm. gear if I can get oh. it to four. Yeah. Mm. No, I need Molduga guts and swift violets. Okay. Those are a little bit trickier to come by. Swift violets are a little bit Sparse. You just kind of have to find them on cliff walls. Yeah, or throw your tracker on. Yeah. I don't know if these do anything other than give you defense. But also, I've got a shit load of Amber and Flint, so I'm not feeling too precious about it. Not against finding out just for the sake of... Yeah, like, do they get an effect at more stars? Is it just Amber and Flint? I will happily burn a lot of Amber and Flint just to max these out for the hell of it. Just an experiment, right? Like again, like I guess I'm spend I'm losing money by spending them, but also like yeah, a bunch of money. But also, I I've got thousands of rupees that I'm basically not going to touch right now, and right. Well, I mean, you got those by selling items too. Yeah, exactly. So. I've been losing items already, so can I get to four? I get twenty eight. Holy shit, that's actually pretty goddamn good for defense. Yeah. That's actually so that's one just of our a straight defense item, though. Yeah. Right? Like not anything else about it. Yeah, no elements to it. But honestly, twenty-eight defense on my head is. It might be the best headgear I've got right now. Yeah, I think it is by like a, a good margin too. Yeah, well, because most of the armor ends up on the body, right? Yeah. I mean, there's there's head there's headgear in general, but usually the headgear I think just right. tends to be less strong. Right. That's what I mean. Like the. The, the chest pieces tend to carry most of the heavy lifting for yeah. where your armor points are supposed to end up. Like if you look at the distribution in one set. Mm -hmm. So let's do... Yeah, that's that's our strongest one for our head. 28. Amazing. 
Uh, and then body stuff. We got a 20 right here. We also have... I mean, this doesn't do anything. So this just gives me slip resistance for free on top of that. Right. And we got 20, 20 that doesn't do anything. So this is our, our best set of gear gets a 68 defense. So, all right, cool. Um, the one remaining thing that I wanted to do is the Typhlo Ruins, which are right here. I was like, where the fuck are those? Oh, wait, no, actually, I want to go drop off the other... Uh, the other picture? Yeah, which I think is this one here. So let's do that first. Then we'll go to the Typhlo Ruins. We'll finally solve that one. That's been just sitting there for a long time. And they do count as individual uh, quests, too. Okay. Each of the stones counts as a separate quest. And I think the whole thing also counts as one, so that's five quests for Typhlo, so that's pretty cool. I keep saying Typhlo. It's spelled with an H. I don't know if it's just an unstressed H or if it is supposed to be Typhlo, but it certainly feels like Typhlo in terms of, like, Cyclone and Typhoon. Right. Because I think Typhlo was the name of one of the frogs from the Wind Waker, I think. There's precedent for TH still going to... Yeah. Time in words being a pretty obvious one. Yeah. As in the Ocarina of Time, as we all know. Yeah. Yeah. I have just the picture. I sure did. No, you cannot see it. Pay me first. I have the, not watermarked it. The Ocarina of Time, the parsley leaf that you yep. use to blow sand out of your way. Yep. The parsley hourglass, yep. as we all remember. Um, The... Sages we Wills. Sages. Yeah, we're, we've got all these sages around. And Princess Rosemary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, my favorite season in uh, The Legend of Zelda uh, uh, Oracle of Seasons was Spring. Uh, pepper? What do we do for Pepper? Your favorite season? Oh, my favorite season. Oh, God. I didn't even, I didn't even realize with that one. Oracle of Seasons. Oh. Yeah, that would be great. Rework it as four herbs and spices. Yeah. I think or Spr 11. Sprig would, or 11, yeah. <laughs> I think Sprig would have to stay for one of those for sure. Yeah. What's a good one for summer? Uh, oh, I, I forgot that I actually died here. You died. I forget how long ago that was. I want to go to for summer, fall, or autumn. I mean, there are there are sort of flavors that are indicative of there of those things, but I don't know that there are word. Yeah, I'm going more word for the wordplay. I think wordplay options. Yeah. Like, if you want to go, yeah, you can. There's a lot that fit for autumn. You can do fucking pumpkin spice would be perfectly valid for that. Even sure. Oh, well, that is a blend. It is a blend. Yeah. So the power of sage of lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. At the end of the long ma uh, dragon that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I mean, what do you think the mountain of death means? It's not like, uh, if only someone could find the thing that is pointing at the Tower of Eiffel. Yes, that tower built by that gentleman, Eiffel. Oh, my God. Let's go up here just because it does help to have the view, though. It always seems to fucking rain when we get over here. What a it's, beautiful view. It says that it's clear out, so I think it is just that it has programmed rain in that space. Yeah. Forever rain in the type flow. I think gin. this is where we want to go. I could swear that there's a dragon head that's in there that we haven't been able to touch yet, but long dragon that protects the, the mountain of death could be an awful lot of things, but I assume it could also be something that's like over here somewhere. But let's start with our blue marker, and we'll kind of go off of that. Looking for a dragon somewhere in the ruins. Yeah. Facing or protecting, guarding the m Death Mountain? You're probably facing away from Death Mountain, yeah. It's a tower. All right, so, yeah, there's... Oh, God, I picked a terrible spot to look. Oh, my God. Hmm. Yeah, 
The rain is not doing me any favors right now. So that one's got three dragon situation going on. What is that? Oh, I think it's a silent princess. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, that does look like it's multiple heads. That might actually be the end of all of this stuff, too. Long dragon might be this one. Looks like a pretty long dragon to me. Yes, it does. Uh, there you are. Hmm. Let's look at that again real quick. Display the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. Could be the other end, perhaps? Is that the end that protects the mountain? I mean, this would seem... This would strike me as being the one that protects... Is that even a face? It's so hard to tell with some of these statues. Let's run along it for a second here. Because, yeah, maybe we do want to go to, like, the other side or something. Where it's busted through the ruins. What's that? It's busted through the ruins. Yeah. That one also looks kind of face-like. It does. It's a double-faced dragon. It's, uh, twin dragons. Okie doke. That lit a fire. Oh. <laughs> just <laughs> briefly just caught. Just, just incidentally, yeah. Yeah. Uh, long dragon. Now, if you look towards the mountain of death. Which I think is... Basically, just yeah, uh, which is this way. Is there a a dragon that you can see from here? Right. Is there like a thing that would be shaped like a dragon? You shoot across the way or something, because that one's got some range to it. Uh, so hard to fucking tell with all this rain. Could that be a thing? Uh, just see if there's anything on here that looks like a long dragon. Yeah, I know that guy's there. Ooh, this... Eh. The stuff that goes underground there? Uh, maybe. Oh, actually, wait a second. Is this a... Fa okay, hang on. I'm not going to waste this entirely, but I'll at least get it started with that. Uh, yeah, you. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Get some pieces. Nice. Uh, this is a long dragon. This is a long and dragon. And it's protecting yeah. the whole coast. So where's its head? I think its head was over here. So unless this is the tail, which it also might be. Because there is this. I could have to strike that. Let's try striking this. If not, we're going to have to follow it the long way around. Where is she? There she is. Okay, cool. I was like, please, please. You Yay. did the thing. Hooray. Here is a chest. I think there's supposed to be a final thing, too, once we have all four of these. This should be a bunch of topaz. All of them have given you a handful of the elemental uh, thing. Oh, I can't move, so something's about to happen. Uh, a cutscene. Where is that? It looks Some like it's in front of the tower. Yep. Is that another chest? or No, it's a catacombs. A, a doorway down. A whole mm. dungeon. A whole ruins. It'd be great if it was just like an entire ass dungeon. So I want to be... I think that's it right there. Nope. Should be right around here, though. It's not... That's one of the prize Yeah, this was a cubbies. prize one. I think it's in closer to the door. Mm. To the tower. Right? Might be, yeah. I thought it was... Uh... I thought it was in front of it that way, but... It's so hard to see around here. 
I yeah. thought it was like in a this way direction from it, but I may be wrong. It is honestly super hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, they didn't exactly... Uh, like, they cut away to some angle and show you a shot and then cut back to you. Yeah. So they don't even, like, pan from where you were. Yeah, the pan would really make a big difference. Okay, maybe we saw it from the side of the tower, not the front of the tower. Yeah, that is my suspicion. Which would make it more... Ooh, that was a weird texture jump. Let's just get up for a second here. Because uh, there are a bunch of little stone chunky bits nearby in the ground, like little square holes. But I'm not seeing those. It might be... They're throwing rocks oh, at yeah. you. Oh, yeah. If you don't have a weapon, then they will just start throwing rocks. Uh, well, it wasn't this. Okay, hang on a second here. Maybe we can... Okay. Because I thought that I saw this or something like this there. So is it possible that it's just further this way? I might go talk to the guy and see if he's got... Some insight. There's something over there, but it's kind of hard to tell. That might be. It also might just be... We could have maybe just been right next to it and not realized, too. Like, is this just it right here? Oh, that looks like one that went up a second level. God yeah. damn it. Yep. Yeah, it is. Fuck. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Ooh, it's not calling this a cave or anything. Let's There's read a prize first. and yeah. a thing to read. Oh, and something is down here. Hey! Oh, hi. Oh, are you about to try to read that thing? I'm going to interrupt. Yeah, right. Mm. You found another monolith. If it was hidden away down here. There's almost certainly something important written upon it. Oh, my heart is pounding. Shall we read it? Dare we? Uh -huh. We dare. Here, allow me. Let's get to it then. A monument to loyalty. Hyrule owes its peace today to the gift that King Roro gave unto us in his noble feat of imprisoning the Demon Gang. Ooh, are we getting, like, a unique item here? King Raru imprisoning the Demon King? Or is named in legend as the first king of Hyrule. In this mention of imprisoning the Demon King, this monolith is no doubt a chronicle of the imprisoning war. <laughs> I won't stop pounding. Let's read on. Everybody is getting into history all at once. Yeah. The great battle ended with a seal, began with support from the sages, each of whom bore a shining secret stone. Among these were four. I wonder if this is actually a full quest thing. And we would have needed to come here for, like, a secret sage stone or something. Hmm. Uh, they are the pride of the peoples of Hyrule. The stone monument is dedicated to the loyalty that will echo through time. Ah. Okay. This one is dedicated to the sages who fought with Roru, the first king of Hyrule. It was built by Hylians afterward. Okay. It explains why there was Hyrulean text on the monoliths we found. Yes. <laughs> sure. I'm astonished to find so profound a secret hidden, a secret hidden in these long-buried ruins so full of mystery. Okay. I know that grammatically it doesn't need the comma for it to be a proper sentence, but yeah. sometimes it's nice to have a, hey, you should probably take a pause here, comma. I know. Yep, yep. A I'm a comma pepperer sometimes. Just a little, just get it in there for phrasing. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see the looks on their faces. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, this is going to be great. Ah. Oh, okay. We're getting a separate reward, too. Great. Oh, goody. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Okay, all right, there we go. Money. Now we're talking. So please enjoy these zone artifacts I discovered. Mementos to remind you of our time working together. Oh. So we'll be sticking around while you can come back if you ever like to talk ruins and relics. Okay. But also, what is this? Oh. Interesting. Oh that, I believe. It says Holy Luster. It's the Holy Sword. It looks like the Sword of the Sages from Twilight Princess, which ironically is featured more as a weapon of Ganondorf in that game than anything else. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but let's also put it on the ground. This might not have a picture to it. Oh, I can also... Oh, no, it does. I can also delete a few more of these things. Let's also delete that and that and that. Oh, that's actually a picture of the Mulduga, surprisingly enough. 
We'll go with seven. Seven's fine. The Hooray. Dusk Claymore. Sweet. Awesome. Doesn't seem like it's got any particular effects as far as we can tell. No, but it is a good sword. It is a good two-handed weapon. Uh, let's attach something to it. I'm tempted to put one of these on there, but honestly, the Gerudo things are so good with those attached that I don't want to waste them. Sure. Uh, I can do a blue a blue uh, saber horn. 33 seems pretty nice. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 65. and a Fantasy weapon. Absurd. Yeah, whose <laughs> sword does that look like? That looks like... like This looks like uh, the Soul Calibur. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I, I'm Nightmare right now. <laughs> I am become Nightmare. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. So I think we got we got that one done. I'm trying to think if there were any other like side quests that we wanted to mess with. I don't want to do that. Oh, the ice house is still in the desert. I think I'll leave that one alone. And the wells are pain. You found 30 of the 58 wells. We got more than half of them. I think we can live with that for now. Yeah. Um, I think we should head to Lookout Landing and at least see what's going to happen when we get there. We got just enough time to do this as we close out for <laughs> the day and I th uh, uh, and to kick off the week. I think this is a Monday episode. Oh, boy. Uh, so let's let's dive on in and see what we got here kick off I guess the final chapter right like this is this is gonna initiate whatever's left of the game yeah the four major things are done you yep. know so there's either one or two parts left yeah and so, in either regard it's it's the final act sort of situation well so what is your what is your your bet between ring ruins of Kakariko the Zonai factory underground or the Zonai ruins in the sky because I think those are the three pieces that we know of that are left well given that there are three things left it might even be that it's all three all three simultaneously there's uh, a thing in the sky a thing on the ground and a thing underground there's a lot of repetition of the the number seven yeah as a power number as one of the you know magic primes that they're using a lot yeah and with four sages and three remaining things to get to that seven we might have to deal with all of them yeah and honestly it wouldn't even be all that ridiculous for them to give us all three at once as like well we've got these three layers we got our triforce style thing going on yeah three layers of the sky yep three pieces of triforce three things remaining to do maybe they each have a piece of the triforce like literally yeah maybe that'd be an interesting when was the there? last time that came up uh, Skyward Sword, I think, or or as far as three different a gathering the three pieces kind of th situation. Yeah, the tri the the one and only time that we uh, that we have ever uh, physically truly brought the Triforce together was Skyward Sword, mm -hmm. where there's a temple that is in Skyloft that you uh, I forget how you get access to it. It's a it's a an end game thing that lets you get there. And most of the rest of the time, it's that Link. Zelda and Ganondorf are the three... Yeah, they each wield a piece. Yeah. But in this case, it is... I actually don't know... Are they... Oh, they were probably upstairs. That's what it was. I was like, why does it seem like we're Going like, getting put into a weird way? position? Well I, was up, well, I was on top, and it seemed like it was leading me into nothing there, but I didn't even think about the fact that there's like a second floor to... Yeah, it's going to be in that house. Yeah. But yeah, in Sky in in Skyward Sword, you do you have a dungeon that is a sliding numbers puzzle style thing. Okay. And when you complete it, or not when you complete it, you actually cannot have it be. <coughs> there's no way to complete it in a way where you can go through the whole thing in one go. But uh, when you like, as you go through there, you do collect the only treasures. Ladder. Is there a ladder? Oh, there is. The only treasures in that in that temple are the three tri uh, piece of the Triforce. And then another ladder. And so you use the Triforce to bring Skyloft down from the skies and it crush the, uh, the. oh no, are we going to find out that they've gone somewhere? 
stairway leading deep beneath Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it, so it seems safe to assume it's a secret removed even from royal legend. We confirmed that gloom emanates from that location, meaning something down there must be causing it. I pointed Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that Princess Zelda volunteered for the job before I had the chance. I know beyond a doubt there is no team more qualified for such a task, and yet I can't escape this feeling of dread. I decided to store this diary in four volumes. That way, if a nosy someone reads it, they'll only have a quarter of it. Such idea is the fruits of genius. As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to... I think we've actually read this before. Because it's going to tell us the other two locations, and I think we've also seen those two. Right. Um, this is the description of the opening of the game. Yeah. 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 Okay, so what is that marker leading us to, if not... That's why I'm so fucking confused right now. Uh, what maybe about on the roof? Going to the roof? Yeah. I guess I can just ascend up there, too. I keep... It's still not na a natural choice for me, even what? now. You don't like to just slip through the ceiling? Ah, yep. There's more up. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Sorry about that. How you Surprise. doing? Can I take a picture of your umbrella? Do you count as a thing to take a picture of? No? Okay. I heard what happened. Hmm. The major cold front that descended upon the Rito, the marbled rock roast that the Gorons couldn't get enough of, then there was the sludge contaminating the Zora's water, and finally the Gerudo menaced by Gibdos in a sand shroud. Yes, those are the four things. Yes, they were. You faced some serious challenges, and you overcame all of them. Well done, Link. Now, here's three more things. Yeah. The person resembling Princess Zelda was behind the scenes for all the phenomena, as you discovered. Yep. This has to be related to the upheaval somehow. Yes. And I have something important to share as well. Hmm? Are we going to look at the the gloom emanating from under the castle. Oh, it's the middle of the day, though. Very haunting for it to be that vivid in the middle of the day. Welcome to... Um, Castlevania. Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night. Uh, Majora's Mask. Yeah. You have three days to live. Oh, is the blood moon not going to go away now? Uh -huh. That would be very interesting if one you... Panic music for the rest of the game. Right? Uh, isn't that... Oh boy. It's voice acted. It's a big thing. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Quickly. Quick, look at my periscope. Oh boy. Is it the dead eyed Zelda? Hard to tell, to be dead honest. Your Highness. I mean, it it's has kind to be. Of feels kind of like it's not. Like she. <gasps> uh. Oh, but. There is just that lingering gloom energy there. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Did you see that? That was the princess, wasn't it? I was going to share that I saw a figure that looked an awful like Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am. thought she'd left the castle entirely, but she was inside. We have to hurry and rescue her. No. Soldiers and I can't reach Hyrule Castle as it is now. You might be the only one who can do it. It's not her. Interesting. We've been to Hyrule Castle. We've explored basically the entirety of it. Right. So I'll be very curious. I assume the idea is that we're... Okay, the regional phenomena complete. Good. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Princess Zelda suddenly appeared at the floating Hyrule Castle alongside a red moon. Much is still unclear, but you should go to Hyrule Castle to check things out. Okay. I mean, it can't be done. This cannot be the end. I think the idea is that they're kind of leading you to feel that way, but yeah. the Zonai Storm, the Construct Factory downstairs, like, those are too big to not mean anything. Right. Uh, <laughs> they're all post-game. They could be, I suppose. It would just feel real strange. Yeah. Do I, I actually don't know if I have enough uh, cores here for it to... Uh, oh, I have a lot, actually. I have just barely enough for five more wells. Sweet. Well, well, wells. Turning cells to wells. Now you only need 13 more wells to get a full double bar? I think so. I think I think we have 13 of them left, so 1,300 uh, crystallized charges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bing. Nice. Sweet. All right, well... I guess when we come back next time, we're going back into the castle. Yes. See you then. Have fun storming the castle.